All right, are we are we back on the air or not? You're going to have to tell me, guys. I can't tell. My OBS got disconnected, and the stream me seemed to freeze up for a minute, but I don't know what's going on. Are we back? I'll have to wait for chat to catch up to tell me if we're if we're dead or if we're alive. Okay, we're still living. We're still living life here. All right, let me jump back into where we left off then. They don't want the truth out there. Discord's doing everything it can to prevent it, but we're going to push through. We're going to push through. We're not going to let them win. All the furry Discord admins in the world aren't going to stop the truth from getting out there. Okay. Uh, I don't know what you missed, so I'll just start back uh, one thing. Guy complaining about the terms of service on Discord saying that uh, young illustrated pornography, uh, basically Lollicon, wasn't allowed. But because it's cub Discord, or cub porn on Discord, they, they think that's okay. Uh, according to uh, the guy we looked at his stuff yesterday, uh, the fur hole runs deep over at Discord. You say anything negative about furries, you get banned. A former dev of Discord, Modbot, who wishes to stay anonymous can confirm that the furry staff at Discord have no tolerance for anything anti-furry. What is going on up there? This is the lead developer for uh, the Ataja bot, by the way. And it's a clear picture of a furry. Looks to be a conversation going on. Sorry for DMing you randomly, but did you know the Discord bot known as Ataja? I used to be a dev for them and have a source to their web interface and API. Don't know about the bot, sorry. Look it up. It's, it's run by the furries. They have really good connections to the Discord staff. Oh, wow. I booed the fuck out of there in November last year. Or noped. I noped the fuck out of there uh, in November of last year. Yeah. You can report anyone on Discord and say something along the lines of, he said fuck furries, give no proof, and they'll be banned. Discord staff defends underage furry porn, but claims lowly Shota uh, content is harmful. Uh, linking to one angry gamer. Uh, here's a relevant section as it gives a statement from the Discord staff. In a post published January 28th, 2019, over on Discord's, or Discord's Reddit page, trust and safety uh, staff member Keridan explained. This should be good. We think there's harm which exists with lolly content, and we don't want Discord to be a place for that, specifically because it is a sexualization of children. Our policy on lolly includes taking action on images where users will protest and say, but it's a 9,000-year-old magic genie. Because we're concerned about the impact on the average person that may, or that may come across it, we likely do not know or care about the backstory of the character. But even if this isn't satisfactory to some... <laughs> Sorry, again, I've got a bit of a cold today. As there are other users that will report it, uh, report in all uh, anime art as lolly, and will be unhappy that we do not take action on. For example, an image of someone at the beach in a bikini it is equally unsatisfactory to others that think that they should be able to post all the lolly they want. We get plenty of reports every day about lolly, which we action. Regarding cub art, cub, it's lolly porn, but when he talks about cub, it's cub art. Regarding cub art. Our stance isn't exactly communicable by the same or the single lines that people have posted screenshots of, both of which were in response to general questions. There's some overlap between Cub and Lolly. I want to make clear that if such content falls into the Lolly camp, which is to say sexualization of human or humanoid minors, it's still banned. If someone thinks that they can get away with a sexualized picture of a child simply by putting bunny ears or cat ears, they're absolutely wrong. But as far as I've seen on Discord, there's also a segment of cub art that is not, in fact, human or human-like at all, but instead, for example, mythological creatures. This content is significantly grayer, which is why there isn't a blanket ban on all of that. I'm going to reemphasize just to make it perfectly clear. If we look at it, and we think it's definitely a human or a human-like minor in a sexual situation, then it's forbidden on Discord and we will take action on the content and the account. <laughs> it's, you cannot understand, it's cub art. Why don't you appreciate the art that the, it's cub art, it's a mythological creature. Oh, you perverts over there with your 9,000-year-old lolly genie need to get the fuck out of here. But this gentleman over here with the uh, four-year-old griffin in the diapers, no, that's fine, that's acceptable. Cub art, 
lolly porn differentiate discord has standards here's a post proving all the foxes is the one who helped the toss standard for cub content on discord gagged bat or gagged bat uh hey are you guys really cool with one of your support guys deciding it was okay to have child porn hosted on your service i'm not sure if i would be okay with people celebrating that they're able to share porn of a five-year-old on your service and looks like they're messaging discord Thank you for your reply and further class of, or clarification. Not safe for work cub content is defined as furry art involving characters under the age of 18, either in terms of actual age or appearance. The subgenre of cub art work named baby fur is for characters with ages or appearances of or around five years or under. And then this is from all your foxes. Thank you for the update. Generally speaking, we don't consider this type of content to be a violation of our terms on their own. That being said, you should be aware that such content can be considered shocking for some, and it should be limited to channels marked not safe for work, and users should have an expectation of the content they will see on the channel before viewing. Much to the light, or much to the delight of degenerates. And it looks like they're, uh, yeah, I'm guessing their site uh, that they can post this shit up. Someone made a diligent effort to try and report things to Discord. Uh, we went over this. This was the don't mass report shit. And what do we got here? Uh, from the QQ, if you get banned from Discord at their political convenience, do you lose all access to your library? Sounds like a terrible idea. I prefer uh, GOG for this reason. I can pop an installer collection on a Blu-ray disc and never lose access, even if they nuke my account. And in response from Drib, fun fact, I've reported two pedos on Discord. Both of them allowed back on with this shitty reasoning. Just so you know, Discord investigates and takes actions. Uh, if, a user, or if a user returns to Discord and demonstrates that they've stopped this activity that led them to being banned in the first place, they're welcome to continue using Discord. And again, all the foxes. So if you're some degenerate furfag that's posting up, uh, how do they put it, cub artwork, baby fur artwork, they're totally fine with that shit. And if maybe you step the bounds a little bit and put up real child porn, I'm guessing, and they ban you off of Discord, as this person said, two pedos, you're allowed back on once you say sorry about that, and you're allowed to yiff with everybody else. But if you make fun of furries, if you talk shit about them on Discord, they've got a bot they've created to hunt you down and fucking ban your ass. That's sort of amazing. All the foxes blocked my old account because I messaged him about it. Says someone who wants to remain anonymous. All the foxes sucks at problem solving by the look of it. Uh, it shows them being blocked. And again, more messages not really getting the reception people would expect. Uh, then there's Quackity Saga. He got banned from Discord, and the reasoning behind it involves furries. Uh, this was a guy that was making fun of furries and shit, and he got shit kicked right off of uh, Discord for it. All the foxes can't stop fucking up. I've had two uh, friends who were banned for participating in raiding. One of them, Alex, for anonymity, was simply a part of the server against the infamous Twitter user, Threat Destroyer, who can mass report and ban other users. The server can't actually do anything like raiding. It was just set up as a means of helping people who had their accounts taken down by this particular user. They were just members of the server that got banned for it. All the foxes was the one who delivered the not literal fuck you when my friend's account was banned. When he contested the ban by responding, they said they'll investigate it. After a week, he got a response saying the ban would be kept up even though the aforementioned rating was simply being in a server set up against mass reporting a Twitter user. And uh, there, there you go. So it seems like shit in the land of Discord still going tits up. And uh, have you noticed, every, uh, every time we come across somebody on their trust and safety team or somebody you know who's high up in the company, they're furries. Everybody that's complaining about being banned is given these really snarky fucking uh, replies to terms of service requests or... Uh, you know, people wanting their ban overturned or to have it looked at. Uh, and they get pissed on. They get pissed on by fur fags who run bots to go after people, who ban people that make fun of them, and think that there's some high fucking uh, quality to the art of baby furdom. Ridiculous. No wonder Discord's freaking the fuck out with the feds investigating them for all the child shit and the, uh, the money and uh, the crime and all that stuff. Can you imagine being in the FBI and stumbling onto this shit? Like, why Why is everybody that works in your office wearing a fursuit? Why are there pictures on the wall of 
mythological creatures that look like babies getting fucked in their ass. Can you can you explain that to me, Discord? Because <laughs> I'm just a simple G-man, and I don't understand all this new technology shit you millennials are into. Is this the hip new thing? Watching a griffin get gang raped? Is, is, that, is that where we're at now, Discord? Holy fuck. What is going on with these guys? We need to get Liam Neeson to kill the furries? Well, I think he's too busy hunting black people on the street. Maybe if a furry rapes one of his family members, he'll decide to take vengeance upon them. But I don't, I don't know what the odds of that fucking happening are. Oh, God, this stream. I had all this shit planned, and yeah, just a lot of weird shit came up. A lot of, you know, poor Danny loses his channel. Hampshire guys getting fucking blackmailed. Furries are running rampant on Discord. It's a lot of weird shit starting off 2019. Lots of weird fucking stuff. And I didn't even get to go over the history of the p -p -p Power Book, which is a fantastic way of getting back at fucking uh, Nigerian scammers. Like the guy that set this up, it was kind of ingenious. Not only, not only did he fuck with a scammer, he cost the scammer money with a really ingenious idea. He found a way to fuck the guy out of money and send him this in the mail when he thought he was going to get an actual power book. Uh, it's pretty great. We'll have to save that, I think, for another stream because I try to keep these to an hour. And we're, we're about at an hour because we started at 419. Uh, let's see. I've got a couple of super berries. I'll read these. I still can't believe Hampshire guy's getting fucking blackmailed. Uh, found something to clean the palette with? Uh, we'll take a look at that tomorrow. Uh, slow, uh, slow moophobe. Love the morning stream, Jim. I enjoy the degeneracy while I get ready for work. But all these chicken hawks with their chicken hawk ops need 13 knots on the lot of them. Anime Garfield. I regularly sold meat to a balding middle-aged man wearing a tail and a Discord dev jacket when I lived in San Francisco. Coincidence? Did he, did he snarl at you? Did, did he prance around the meat section like a an animal stalking its prey? He, he'd jump up on the counter and bark at you and shit when he asked for steaks? <laughs> I'm sure there's more to this. Uh, Mitch had Berg's ghost. Hey, Jim, are you planning on doing a video on the Discord furry stuff with the Discord being investigated? Nope. Uh, this is just morning stream shit. Uh, just talk about whatever's going on, look at dumb videos. Uh, it's confined to this. I'm sure people will put together amazing videos about the Discord furry shit. We'll talk about it on stream, laugh at a few of the uh, clips, but that's that's about it. Coinflip458. I just felt like ruining your date. You won't be able to pull this up on stream, but you can read it in part or in full. Don't put it off. It'll be entertaining at least. And this looks like a borrow link. <laughs> I will, again, because we're getting to the end of the stream, people have sent me links. And I had a few links from yesterday, too. I'll compile them up, and we'll put them at the beginning of the next morning stream. Uh, I felt like, uh, okay, and that was the same message. It looks to be the same link. Uh, from HTRTU. Hey, Jim, you wanted a, a clip of a creepy-ass child molester from the documentary going screwed so tightly. Here you go. Ah, thank you. Put that into rotation. Minute World 94. How does it feel to be this popular? Oh, yeah, we're... We're bringing in the big numbers on the streamy morning stream. <laughs> we're, we're, we're setting records, boys. We're, we're taking off for the stars. I actually, I, 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 again, I really enjoy streamy. I love the fucking idea that you don't need to have an account to comment. I think that's fun. Um, you know, if I was watching a stream, I wouldn't you know, have to fucking register and all this shit. Being able to use a troll account and say whatever the fuck you want. It's a nice feature. Having a more relaxed terms of service is a nice feature. I mean, yeah, I don't don't really make uh, money over here compared to what I make on YouTube. I don't really care. It's more fun doing this. Uh, from Kears, rub my prostate tumor daddy. Black Tea Recluse. I told Discord repeatedly a YouTuber was grooming children and fucking with Terry A. Davis. They did nothing. I tell my behavioral, or behavioral health case manager that. He asked me who it was. I tell him everything. He forwards it to the government. Minute World 94... How do you feel about being so pop? Uh, I read that one. Came up. Why does it keep coming up? Mr. Curie, doggy style. Lost in the void. People also seem to forget the whole Raikou and trap blackmailing thing. We actually talked about that yesterday. That was the R9K and pull thing. 
where they were luring they were luring young men into a discord convincing them to uh rp colon three with them dress up like women and then they would uh fuck with them and that's allegedly what happened and they would fuck with them and potentially might have driven one of them to suicide but i remember when that was getting talked about caleb ll show think of the creationist hamsters those creationists are aren't uh acting very christ-like blackmailing uh isn't something jesus would do but will there be a war between creationist hamsters and objectivist hamsters they aren't sending their best soon be soon People on the Galaxy 3.2 forum are archiving his videos. Also, Danny had a stream. It's also on the forum, Danny Highlight Reel. Danny Stream Video Archive. I'm in a world 94. Hey, Jim, how does it feel to have this big of an audience? I'm not sure why you keep asking that. Uh, I feel good. I enjoy it. Mr. Curry, Casey Father Call, for old time's sake. Finally, Laughing Man AD. 100,000 hours of community service is roughly 48 years of working. 48 or 40 hours a week that's insane uh, yeah i wouldn't really believe that that's that, that that's accurate i don't think that's a real thing i'm gonna be honest with you i don't i don't think he got a hundred thousand years of fucking community service i don't see that being a real possibility all right uh i i know this this morning stream was a bit it's thrown off a little bit i wasn't expecting hamster blackmail um but <laughs> It kind of took up a big chunk. That was a long, that was a long post. It took up a big chunk. But tomorrow, the next morning show we do, we'll go over the links. A couple people sent some funny things. We'll take a look at those. But then we're jumping into 419 Nigerian scams. We're going to look at the guys from Hoax Hotel and others that will basically fuck with them and cost them money. We'll go over the PowerBook story on how somebody fucked Nigerian scammers out of money uh, by using delivery fees. It was actually pretty pretty interesting. And have a good laugh about that. And also, also talk about them, you know, taking their selfie photos, like you see on screen right now, <laughs> because they're so desperate for money. They will do anything you ask them. You would be amazed. So we'll go over those stories on the next morning stream. Have a good Tuesday morning. Enjoy your work. Enjoy your college. Enjoy whatever the fuck it is you do. And try to remember not to blackmail hamsters. That's just mean. And pray for Danny. His YouTube channel is gone and he's going to need his forever friends to send him some strength, some warmth, and some comfort. Put on some outro music and I will see you next time.